Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the mower and today we're going to be testing this brand new Steger battery powered mower. So then we've been sent this super absolutely amazing right and I know that before I've even used it because of the build quality mower from Steger right it's the I've got to turn it round. my goodness it's a beast of a machine right it runs on the e-power batteries to start with it's got a twin clip blade which I'll turn it over and show you in a minute and it's actually the 950 SQAE right that's the model number. Look at it. It's absolutely solid. It really is. This is a proper battery commercial mower. We've got a handle on the front there for lifting it up and down steps or wherever you've got to go. We're lucky we haven't got to get this in and out of vans. We use a trailer. We can just wheel it on and off, right? Under the bonnet, there's no petrol engine, is there? It's just a battery case. We've got two E7, uh, E, 475 batteries two of those in there you get a dual charger i'll show you that a bit later on because i'm so excited <laughs> i want to get out and cut some grass with this we've got loads of grass to do we're coming up to peak cutting season we've got loads of grass everywhere um i can run this around my lawn like i normally do with these battery mowers but this is a commercial bit of kit we need to get out and cut some verges we've had a lot of rain lately i don't know if you can see the weather around me it's like closing in it's warm and wet, grass is growing like mad. We've got some long grass to cut. I'm gonna try and demonstrate the bagging system with it. We've got a side discharge over here um, and a mulching plug as well. So we'll try and do all three. So I'm excited to get out. But before I go, I'll just turn it round again and we'll have a look at this twin clip blade. You'll see this system, oh, if I can just get that over without causing any bother, try again. Do you know what the great thing is with these battery ones? You can turn them any way you like. There's no petrol or oil to leak out. Right, twin clip blade. One blade in there, one bolt holding that blade in. And the blade is split, look, into two bits. Two bits. So as we're going around and cutting grass, it's cutting grass on here, flicking it up into the shell underneath, cutting it again. If you got it to mulch, it comes back down into the grass or it's coming straight out here on the side so a discharge or just straight into the bag, whichever way you go. So these must create some real force with the airflow. Now, I know that's true because I fired it up a few minutes ago when we got it out of the box. That's another thing I wanted to mention actually uh, about the box. So it, it blows that bag up, it just blows it up. It's, it's amazing really the power that this has got. I'm really excited to use it as you can probably tell. Then what I'm gonna say about the box, we always start with an unboxing video. We'll take the mower out of the box, we'll put it together, we'll do it. There's nothing to do. <laughs> we open the box, I took the batteries out, took the charger out, the batteries have got some power in, I popped them in here, and that was it. You don't put the grass bag together or anything. It's all done for you. Right, let's get out and mow some grass and then we'll come back here and talk about what we've done. So, we're back here in the garden then. Uh, it's been about 10 days, I think, since we, uh, took the mower out, we started doing some verges around by where we live. We used the various uh, combinations, side so discharge, grass box, etc., and it worked absolutely great. So great, in fact, that we took it out on site and we've been using it um, commercially, properly as a mower every day. Um, as you can see, there's a few scrapes on it and stuff, but you know, we've got a galvanized steel deck on there. We're not gonna do any damage to that really. It's been a great mower, it's really great. But I'm gonna run through some features and then we can jump back to the footage of us using it actually cutting. So um, let's start, the, the main thing really is the, the powerhouse, these batteries. If I can just click one of these out, I click out. They're the E475 batteries, the Steger batteries. We can fit two under the bonnet, right? They fit in there and they just click in like so and they click out and we've got a little isolation key. Before, when I tipped it over to have a look at that blade, I should have taken the key out because if somebody was around, they could press the button, pull the handle and it could start. It's not really gonna happen, but it could. So we take that key out, put the key back in. I'll turn this round so you can see what I'm doing. Move all the bits and pieces out of the way. So there's the batteries, there's the key. You can press the buttons on the batteries. We know that they're all charged up. 
It works great. I'm chuffed with it, you know, really chuffed with it. it, it it's done us proud. It's done us proud. We, we do use petrol mowers all the time. This is the first battery mower that we've used commercially and it has done well, really well. Um, let's have a little look at the rest of it then. We've got the batteries in there, they work. You just put them on the charger. The green light comes up and they'll charge up and they'll charge up overnight. I don't know how long they take to charge. We're so busy, we put them on charge, we take them out, we use them, we put them on charge. That's how it works. We've got a height adjuster over here. Now, the height adjuster is easy. One, one lever, so you just use your thumb on there and it drops all the way down to 25 mil. Now, 25 mil, that's what we cut cricket outfields at 25 mil. So that's short grass, short grass, and it goes up to 75 or 77 mil supposedly is what it goes to now that's a load of nonsense 77 mil they're underselling themselves there because we use this 77 mil that's like just under eight centimeters we use this on some grass that was almost 30 centimeters long and we bagged it off and it looks fantastic you wait till you see the footage it, it is it is really good really good right so that's how we adjust the height all four wheels on one lever easy and there's a little uh, number dial somewhere on here, over on this side, on my side. I'll get a photograph of that so you can see. And it'll just tell you it's up on height number six. Drop it down, you can lift it up and down, and it'll just show you in that window there exactly where it is. Man, it's a brilliant bit of kit, brilliant bit of kit, right? I'll just turn the mower around and we can just have a look at the handles and the uh, control panel. Right then, we'll look at the handle now. Um, again, simplicity is the key. We've got, two locks on this side we can pull them in like so lift the handle up and fold it right over down to flat to transport it or stand it up on end if you want to bring it over and the first position it locks in is the high position for me that's exactly how i use it but there are th another couple of positions as well so we pull these again and we can lower it down to there pull it again and lower it down to there so you've got a real low angle there so if you're a uh, a foot shorter than me, that's absolutely no bother at all. And then back to the high setting for me. So easy, so easy to use, so well built as well. Then you're wondering about speed, aren't you? <laughs> you pull the handle at the back, right? And this gives us our forward momentum. So we pull the handle at the back and we've got a dial at the side. Now, I can't remember which way round it is, that's it. So we've got the tortoise at the top, that's the slow speed, two, three, four, five, six, and we're at the hair there. So, and when it's on six, you are running behind it. You don't really want to be cutting grass with it on number six, you're jogging along. But if you're moving between little bits of grass that you need to cut, put it on number six, trot along behind it, get there, knock it down to about three, I think it was about as fast as we cut on, and it still gave us a great finish, and you'll be good to go with that. Then on the top, we've got a small little digital display panel. You press the, on button or standby button and it comes on and it gives you the power in the batteries at the moment we've got three lights on there there's an eco button now i don't know what the eco button does right i'll be honest with you you can ask me about battery life as well i don't know we've used it commercially we're in the middle of the mowing season it's growing like mad we are out mowing every day all day some evenings as well really weekends we're just doing it right so we're charging the batteries up we're going out we're cutting grass we're coming back we're charging them up and we're going out again later on in the season when we've got a bit more time i can just sit down do the maths do some comparisons and we're gonna have a whole new video all about battery versus petrol and see how it gets on but i'm telling you this copes with commercial work and it will do a day's commercial work if you're thinking about it in terms of area you know the size of a tennis court roughly well this will cut four of those in one charge so four tennis courts that's a lot of grass especially when you're walking behind a mower right so this is our control panel and there's a little warning triangle on the top if there's any problems with anything the warning triangle lights up right and that will just give you you stop the machine you just take a look round and, and see any obvious problems and, and you can rectify those Right, so you know how to start, we know how to, to start it up. We just press the button and then go, it starts up. It's got a 2.2 kilowatt brushless motor in there. So my goodness, it's got some go in it. I'll tell you, it really has. So 
that's how it starts up. Then to engage the blades, what we do is press this button over here. So when it's switched on, I'll switch it on now actually. We can switch that on, we can press that button in and hold this up and it engages the blades. There you go. Turn it off and that's it. You just let go and it's off. Pull that up again, it will not start. The blades will not go. You have to hold this in to get it going again. It's a great safety feature. You know, it works, doesn't it? You're not gonna accidentally turn those blades on when you're walking between sites, going up and over curbs or whatever, you're not gonna chip them. So that's brilliant. So basically, that's about everything on here that we've got. We know how to make it go forward. We know how to like operate the blades. We know how to change the height. There's not a lot else we need to do, is there? Apart from seeing it cutting grass. And the first thing we'll see it cutting is in the mulching mode, right? We've got a mulching plug here. There's our mulching plug. Handle at the back, covered in grass at the front. We've been cutting in wet weather. You'll see in the video. You've been cutting in wet weather. You'll see in there, it's damp. We've got grass stuck to it, still an excellent finish. We lift this up so easy. Just put your hand on there and then we'll put this in at the back. That just slots in drop that down and that's your mulching plug. We'll have a look at that in action right now. Well, wasn't that a great finish, eh? Wow, like, really fantastic. That twin clip blade there, you saw how long the grass was, we're talking about that sort of length, runs over the top, it's chopping it twice as it's going round, blowing it back down into the ground, and you're walking over it, and you can hardly tell that there's anything left on there. It's fantastic, really. He's up there with, like, you know, the top multi mowers, really, that we've used. It is fantastic, we're, I'm, I'm really chuffed with it. It, so much power in there there, there is I just I would never have expected it from a battery mower you know I don't want to sound skeptical but I've been doing this for 15 years or so and we've cut a lot of grass in that time we've used a lot of machines and these battery machines they're new to the market they're doing this they're doing that but they seem to have cracked it with this one it, it, it is working well it's working well now we've already got that mulching plug stuck in the back there right so that's in I just show you how easy it is to take that out if you wanted to change it to something else. So you put that mulching plug in, back in, easy, right? Now you want to do some side discharge. We don't really use it, you know. If it's like too long to mulch and too long to bag off, or you haven't got the ability to take it away, then side discharge is a thing. It's not really a massive thing in the UK because when you're walking, we like to walk up and down, we like to get some stripes, even if they're just vague stripes where the wheels have been, we like to get some sort of stripes in there. When you're side discharging, um, you're basically picking the grass up, it's coming around, you're leaving the, the mulching plug in, but instead of blowing it back into the ground, it's coming out the side, okay? So you wanna walk this way, so it's blowing this back onto the bit that you've already cut. And then you're always sort of going, you're not cutting it twice, however, We've done a test for this um, on some of the verges and um, we've used a side discharge and because the grass is a little bit shorter, we were able to cut both ways. So we could blow it onto the stuff that we hadn't cut and blow it onto the stuff that we had cut. And you know what? It still left a good finish. It, it's not my favorite finish by far, but it worked okay. And to put this on is, is easy. Again, we've already got the mulching plug in. We lift this flap up at the front, just flick the lever on the top, lift this up. 
like so. And then we've just got two little clips on there and they just clip under. If I can do it, if I can do it upside down, then I'm sure you can do it the right way round. There you go. And that's it. And we fire the mower up and away we go. And as we cut in, it's firing everything out here as you're walking along, leaving it in nice neat rows, or if the grass is a little bit shorter, it doesn't even leave a row, it just scatters it around on top and it'll dissipate within a few days. Right, we'll have a look at that in action. Hey, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Now, like I said, it's not as neat as when we're mulching, I don't think, but you can cut longer grass with that, you know, quite long grass as well. And like they say on there, seven, uh, 77 mil, eight centimetres. Don't worry about that. We cut stuff, uh, I'll show you now in the next clip where we, we're bagging it off. We had a bit that's close to, uh, close to some houses and we decided that we'd try and bag that bit off. And it was the, the longest bit. We just. You know, anybody can walk around like my little lawn with a mower and just show it working and picking up grass. Yeah, that's great. But, you know, we've got to put these things to the test. We know in the real world that you're going to go out and you'd have missed a week because of the weather, illness, whatever it is, and you've got to catch up and you've got to do it. So when we're out there, we don't collect grass very often. But when we do, we need it to collect the grass well and we need it to collect it efficiently. And you know what? This really did. I'll show you quickly. We'll take this off. So. There's the side discharge off and out the way. We'll lift this up and we'll take the mulching plug out the back. Oh, I will give a quick mention. There is actually a fourth option that we didn't use. This is rear discharge. Instead of side discharge, you'd have the rear discharge right on there. However, we didn't put that on. You can see that's clean, like it's just come from the factory. We haven't put that on. We were more interested in the others. The rear discharge, if we're doing that, we'd prefer to, to mulch if we could really. But we'll, I'll keep that in the truck and we'll give it a go one of the days. But now the grass box. And this got me excited, really. <laughs> it did because, as I said, we don't do it often, but when you do, it needs to be done well and efficiently. And this really is the bee's knees. Firstly, you won't see this anywhere else, right? You've got the grass box here. We've got two metal clips either side, small ones. You've got a handle on top and they'll fit in onto a runner. Now we'll turn this round and show you, but I just want you to see this, right? Normally we've got a grass box, we're lifting this up, we're fumbling about, it's one-handed, you're trying to get stuff in. Forget that. The, this is the game changer. Put the metal clips on either side, push it down, and it's in. That's the grass box on. <laughs> it's on, done. All right, grass box is pretty full. Grass box is off, one-handed. So simple, so easy, it, it's phenomenal. There you go, back on. I, I just, I can't get over that. And as a commercial operator or somebody who's using this on a large lawn at home, like I said, you know, you're over a thousand square meters, four tennis courts worth of mowing on one charge of the batteries. That's, that's a lot of boxes of grass to come off. If you're doing that and you can just clip this on and off at will, empty it, you know, clip it back on one handed, that just saves you so much time, so much time. So it does, and do you know what? When we say it collected it efficiently, I started to mow and I was mowing and we were mowing grass longer than we should have been mowing really. And we were collecting it um, and it was going in and after a few stripes, it started to drop a little bit of grass and I thought, oh, right, it's not working too well, you know, well, what's going on? Took the grass box off. It was packed in and it was packed in so tight that there was, there was no real, there's no room left to push it in. There's no compression left. I had to lift it up two hands to get it into the, into the bin to empty it. Go phenomenal, really. Put it back on, went over the little bit that I just dropped on there, cleaned that up and cleaned the rest up. No problem at all. I thought, wow, what, what a, what a machine this is. It's just amazing. Well, I can go on about that all day, but you know, you can see it now. We'll just play that little bit of clip so you can see us collecting all the grass.
So in conclusion then, what do I think? I think it's a great mower. We've done really well with it. Um, we've taken it out, we've used it, but not abused it, but they have a bit of a hard life on the commercial circuit, you know. As we say, we're cutting up to like four tennis courts in size per day with it, using various attachments and stuff. It's been fantastic. Yeah, the batteries aren't the cheapest thing to buy, but we can take them out of there, we can put them in the backpack, we can use a blower, a strimmer, a hedge cutter, there's all sorts of things on there. So if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe, you'll get notified when those videos come out and you'll be able to see them. But I just wanted to show you this before we uh, finish. I was on about the grass bag and how well it picks up. Well, we've got the grass bag on there, I'll just fire the mower up and you'll see how it blows up. The, the amount of air that comes through there is just phenomenal, really. I'll just clip that on. Look at this, look at it. It's amazing. And then your grass bag's full. Take that off, empty it wherever you've got to empty it. Put it back on. As simple as that, hey? They're looking at these things, looking at ways to improve things. There's not a lot you can do to improve this mower. It's ergonomic, it's designed, you know, with the operator in mind. One handle to lift the wheels up and down. We've got a nice little control pad on there. Buttons are on the right hand side, easy to use. It's a great machine. The only thing they could improve on was the grass bag, getting it on and off, and they've done it. A simple one-handed operation. It's as easy as that. So there you go. I'm chuffed a bit to it. We're going to get out and we're going to use it some more and see how it fares over the next few seasons. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. As I said before, give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you can. All the details about this Steger product and the other products in the range will be in the description below. Anything nice to say, pop that in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim of the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.